Hello, this is SB Architect. In today's video, we are going to make bedroom in ARCHICAD. For this design, we are going to use brand name ARCHICAD 24 objects. And also, we are going to use some morph and shell elements. But before we start, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It's going to help this channel to growing up. And I suggest you to subscribe. Because I'm going to make similar tutorials each week in this channel. No further ado, let's get right into that. I'm going to start this bedroom by adding some walls. I'm going to click this wall and for the structure I'm gonna select simple basic one here and for the wall thickness let's make this 20 and it's going to be 400 cm to 500 cm which is going to be 20 square meters and after that I'm gonna make here a window and an entrance door to here and maybe we can add somewhere here a bedroom door also okay anyway let's start with adding some window or maybe we can add a sliding door here go to door click the settings and i'm gonna go to sliding doors here here we have exterior sliding doors and this sliding door we are going to use this sliding door and as for the width let's make this 180 as for the height it's gonna be 210 Let's just leave the rest as it is. Click OK. I'm going to place it here. There we go. And go to door tool again. We are going to go to hinge doors. And here we go. Door 24. As for the door leaf, let's make this a solid one. Maybe here, this seems modern. Click OK. And let's just leave a 10 cm space. And to here, I'm going to add a bed from the object tool, which is here. Go to settings and go to beds here. Here we have new ARCHICAD 23 beds for instance we can go with this bed double or maybe this one I think this is a bit classical and this is also anyway doesn't enter let's just go with this bed double 04 and I'm going to uncheck this pillow I'm going to show you why this mattress is OK. Let's uncheck this one. We can have these drawers. And I'm going to uncheck this foot board. And as for the width, 190 is OK. And this is 220. OK. Click OK. And I'm going to place it to here there we go once we have this I'm going to go to object tool again and I'm gonna click decoration click blanket after that I'm going to select one of these I'm gonna use this one click OK and place here If we can select this and I'm gonna align like so maybe I can fix that in the 3d view let's change this height with 5 centimeter not that one 
e bir 1 cm. Cool. And maybe we can move 3 cm to right. 3 more. And there we go. After that, I'm going to duplicate Ctrl plus T and click the pillow. Okay, this one. I'm going to use this one and rotate 90 degrees. And I'm gonna mirror from here. Where are they? Where are they? Under the table, under the bed. Let's just select like so. Control plus Z and hit the shift key, click the bed. And here you can see that we have only selected our newly created clothes. Okay. Maybe we can change the scale or in the settings click this chain and make this 35. Here we go. And maybe we can extend this one to here. It's going to be much better. And as for the material, let's just make this this one, not that one, dark gray. Okay. And I'm gonna drag this as three centimeters more. Okay. Let's make some slab, and for the structure. I always select simple one. As for the surface, let's click Ctrl plus T, hit override surface and let's just go with the, this pine grade horizontal. Sure. And I want to also get rid of these grid lines. To do that, I go to Edit Tool. Sorry, weave tool and uncheck this editing plane display. Okay, let's make a wardrobe for this one. And, but we have this wardrobe options here, which is under the cabins and shelves. But we can select any of this. This one is old and this one is new. I want to try this new one in the arcade 24 and here we have different options sliding sliding and hanging i want to go with sliding and for door number two door and three doors i want to select three doors i want to uncheck legs and here we have panel options and we can select either mirrored or either a wooden panel yeah sure this is okay and as for the panel style one two three four okay let's go with three and once we have done this one I'm going to make some adjustments onto that. And this is going to be a modern one, so I won't select an up or at least one of these. I won't select one of these. Maybe I can go with this modern, modern times. Bit hole, I think. Maybe bevel. Yeah, sure. Bevel is nice from the top bevel 
and click OK and place to here. Maybe we can extend like so. Actually, I want to place this wardrobe to the to the left, and this is the back side. So I'm going to mirror. There we go, and I'm going to reduce this space by 50 centimeter and I'm going to enlarge this area 50 centimeter more and to do that I'm going to show you that stretching tool so in order to do that you select mark tool and just make a rectangular selection Control plus H input 50 here and as for this corner this side 50 centimeters here and let's let's fix the door maybe we can extend to here this wardrobe I'm going to make here a TV unit and for storing some basic stuff stuff like that I got floor plan and click the elevation here make an elevation like so open that up for this one let's use the move tool and select first polygon method and make a basic rectangular shape with the shift key there we go As for the space here, let's make this 20 and as for the height, let's make this 35. To do that, I'm going to 35, input 35 and hit the minus and just enter. It's going to be 35. Maybe as for the design, I can add some point to here and offset that edge. There's another edge here. Point. There we go. Now I'm going to add another more set like this one but this time I'm going to use rectangular it's going to be 0.5 actually there you go and maybe to here I'm going to add the shelf here I'm going to duplicate this one and offset its, its edges to inside by 3 centimeters. I'm going to offset this edge and move this edge to this side. Okay, let's go to 3D and let's extrude this morph by to this corner actually it can be 45 centimeter and for this one let's just do more and extrude to here I right click this one, boolean operation, subtract and click this one. Here we go. After that, again I'm gonna make the same step. Click 
Click the face. Align this corner and input tree hit minus and hit enter. Right click boolean operation subtract and click this that one. Here we have our shelf called floor plan. And align to this wall edge. After that, we can place our TV unit in the object. Here we have health and recreation. And here we have flat panel TV. And as for the support, let's go with rectangular. OK. Click OK. And place our TV units. Maybe we can mirror. There we go. Maybe we can make this 200 centimeters. And as for the frame thickness, I'm gonna make 5 centimeter. And for the material, I'm gonna use aluminum. Click this uniform door surface and it's going to be easier. And I'm gonna uncheck casing outside and inside also. And I want to see more clear the model. I'm gonna right click this 3D all. Go to the 3D styles, uncheck this show contour, click OK. Also, I want to, I don't want to see these dashed lines, so I go to this model view options at the very bottom on the, this window. Here we have opening line in 3D. Let's uncheck this one, click OK. We can move this one to the next of the bed and we need some night beds to here uh, night tables to here from the object and in the cabinets yeah there we go here we have old one this is the old one and this is the new one three drawer and we are going to turn this one to a modern we will select this table type and as for the material I'm going to select a simple color maybe titanium white there we go and as for the this panel again it's going to be white yeah this looks like more modern than before okay And place to here, maybe we can make this wider 60 centimeters and duplicate to here. Let's just select all of these. And I'm going to change this selection to this one, to this one, from this one to this one. And now you can realize that I have selected left to right and I didn't select the boss and I have only selected our furniture hit control plus G to group let's make a simple sailing for this one go to ground floor copy this slab go to story one and control plus V to paste and I'm gonna move inside and click the slab, click the bottom overlay surface. Let's go with this paint glossified. Click OK. And after that, let's change this door material to white. It's going to be the same with titanium white. 
at the casement and also the panel one click this uniform and click this titanium might hit ok there you go and for the space under the door and this door is going to be zero and let's make this also here we go dark gray and i want to place here some decoration element maybe this one wall i don't know by wall what i want to place and duplicate to here let's select some glass there you go and maybe we can add some books to here if we have some books no we don't have but we are in the object tool already and we can add another object again i just go to i'm gonna find some book elements i have written book here and here you can see book cluster and we are going to place that one uncheck the surface there we go and here you can see it's more complicated I think this is very nice maybe we can make some ceiling design for bedroom for this bedroom to do that I'm going to use shell tool this one I'm gonna click this first one and the second one and I'm gonna click this wall after that I'm going to start from this part come to here and go to down like so and again click the same place extend to here maybe it's going to be 250 hit enter as for thickness let's make this 10 centimeter go to floor plan here we can see our newly created shell and align this shell to center of the bed where is it okay here we go and maybe to here click this edge and extend to here it's going to be third 310 maybe 50 minus to here and drag another 25 it's going to be better and as for the material i'm going to make this override surface paint sand beige we can also make here an island so i'm gonna right click and create hole in the shell click the space and i'm gonna sketch without in dimension but i go to floor plan i'm going to fix that in the floor plan i'm going to make 70 centimeter here and 30 centimeter not 30 50 centimeter also 50 centimeter to this side it's gonna be the same centimeter and as you can see here this is a open menu and you can do whatever you want actually we have a problem here with this back side of the bed so i want this the same width as the bed and as for this opening i'm gonna inset 
30 cm from each side. And also I want to make some wooden decoration elements here. So let's just make another section or we can just rotate this elevation. Open that up. There are you. Okay. And go to move tool again. Make a basic rectangle. Okay. And make a chamfer. Maybe two centimeter. Not two centimeters. It's gonna be one centimeter. And it's going to be chamfer. Here we go. Also the same as for this one. And after that, I'm going to go to 3D view, align to this corner, click the face, push pull to here. And as for the surface, let's just make full nut, maybe, or not full nut. This is better. Put mahogany horizontal. And maybe we can make this like so and control plus U and click this first one, click the OK from this start corner to this ending corner and I'm gonna just array. There we go. Actually I didn't like the material setup. Let's select them in the elevation and let's make them group, go to 3D, why I couldn't with them, let's go to elevation again, control plus G and also go to grouping, this one, it might be grouped, but there is a bug I think, this is a bug. I have grouped them in the elevation but in the real, in the 3D, they are not grouped. So, I'm going to select with this technique, I'm going to make a rectangle selection and going to click this morph, control plus A and there we go. They are grouped now. And I'm going to change food material to this one. And maybe we can change this. Yeah, it's a nice red. Because it's a bedroom. Disgusting. Orange, not orange. I don't know what color will be. Light gray. Light grey, light grey, sure. And for the interior walls, let's make them green. This is outside, this is inside. This green. But if we just look at our reference line, we it's the interior side as outside. So let's make this selection and I'm gonna change this color color values from surface color. I'm going to make this less saturated and a bit darker. Click OK. And I'm going to make this darker. Where is dark gray? Here we go. Yeah, I think it's nice. Maybe we can add some lights. To adding some lights, we just go to more. And here we have lamp. Go to settings. And here we have interior lamps. And I'm going to select this spotlight. 
yeah that's spotlight click ok and click here maybe we can rise up a little there we go called floor plan and story first story or ground floor we can see our spotlight and after that I'm gonna hit Ctrl plus U and click this increment and spread click OK input 60 and just duplicate and mirror mirror from the center okay guys i think that's all it for this tutorial as you can see it's a little long tutorial just to compare to the previous videos my in my channel i hope you have enjoyed this one i have tried to show you how to use objects and how to use more tool in order to make some bedroom designs or any kind of interior design and this is the way how we work in archicad again thank you for watching have a nice day